What's up, my Pungios? Andy, Andy Vlogs. Gonna do something I've never done before, which I'm pretty nervous to do. We're using this Homax Toughest Tile. All right, I need to pause. This is Andy from well into the future. I need to give you guys a heads up. This product is garbage. It's no good. It didn't come with the instructions in this specific box. It didn't come with the cleaning kit. And so I, I really, really am hesitant to put this out, but I wanted to show you my story and my experience. Get a professional to do it or just get a new tub. This spray on stuff is crap. Let's enjoy the show. Spray on tub and sink tile refinishing kit. Basically, if you come look at our tub, it is disgusting. It's rusting out and the enamel is coming out and we need to put a, a finish on it. And so um, I'm gonna show you how to use this. I'm not a professional. I'm not being sponsored by them, but I thought this might be interesting as a vlog. As I've never done it before, but I'm showing you how to do it. So first and foremost, it comes with two cans. It comes with gloves and it comes with very fine steel wool. And then it comes with a cleansing packet. Mine's not in the box, which is kind of annoying. But I'm gonna use this Walmart brand foaming bathtub cleanser, which is a good substitute. It, the water pools right here. I was pushing all the water here in this natural lift, and so that's why this started to rust, because over the years, as the water sat and cooled there, it rusted through. So we're gonna spray some of this stuff. We're gonna get all the rust up as best we can. But I'd like to just do a a spray around the tub as well. Nonetheless, here we go. This is where I made my biggest blunder because I didn't have the instruction manual. I didn't know how long I was supposed to shake literally the enamel spray paint for. The instructions now that I know say to shake it for two to three minutes, but in reality, I actually shook this stuff for five to seven, almost 10 minutes because the mixture inside had coagulated so much that when you shake it for two minutes vigorously, it, it didn't quite come together and so when I sprayed it on for this first coat it was literally just spraying half of the chemical and then once I got down to the other half of the can then the other chemical came out and that's what was so toxic and that's what made this experience so horrible. I mean I'm like maybe 10 minutes into it and you can already see that it's really really foggy and aerosolized. Spray analysis. It's a war zone in there. It went bad. It is not good. There's paint everywhere. Aerosol everywhere. I have paint everywhere. It's in my hair. It's in my arm hair. It's on my face. I gotta get this off me. This is really bad. I'm panicking just a little bit. Just a little bit. 
I went through $50 of spray paint. Each can was $25 and it's enamel, which hopefully it cures really well and we'll just, and then I'll uh, give you an update in 48 hours. All right, folks, we're back at it. I'm gonna do a second coat. I've been shaking this for like five minutes, five minutes straight, that's uh, the important part of it. My mom brought me a really nice mask that they had in, in their junk and this will help protect my Obviously my lungs, because I've been coughing up so much of that enamel crap. Make sure that you have a mask, please. It's so important. Uh, this time, I'm gonna try to lay it on as thick as I can. There's an area right here that I just, just soaked, and it's the best feeling right now. It's the soft enamel. Right here is still like really, really gritty, and uh, also here as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna lay it on as thick as we can. Come join us. I think we have a lot of run marks, but I'd rather have run marks than uh, sandpaper. Okay, we're gonna call it, that's it. That's all I can do. That's four airsoft spray cans full on one. I thought only two would work, but nope. This thing sucks up tons of enamel. Okay, so it's been two days um, since I last checked in with you guys. Let's take a look at what it looks like. I think it looks really good. You really got the enamel shine and sheen and gloss. Just don't look any closer than this, because again, it's not, it's not the same brand new. I mean, you can see right there. Definitely some issues. Okay, so we're here three days later after it's all cured. It should be fine enough for me to be able to run. It actually is. That's crazy how it cured. It, it, it's super important that you let it cure because it gets softer and it enamelizes or whatever it's called. But I can still fill some areas where it's like, it's rough. We're gonna run the water now. My biggest thing was that there's water that pools right here and I was, I was hoping that I could get rid of that. Um, let's throw the shower on. Um, it's draining just fine, let's stop it. Now they used to pool water right here. There's still a pool of water right here. Dang it. I was hoping that I laid it thick so it didn't pool right there. All right, well, it worked. It looks good. I want to All right, with that said, Andy with Andy Vlogs signing out. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Bye. What?